All right, hey there students. In today's video, I'm going through five different practice problems on debits and credits. It'll go from easier questions to harder questions. What I'll do is I'll go through and analyze exactly how I would approach them through on exam. I'll go through and show you my tips and tricks to get to the answer faster and explain each uh, question to you in real time. Let's get into it. Okay, so the first question here is asking which accounts below are debited when they increase? So what I would do here, first I'm gonna get my tool out. I'm gonna go ahead and go ahead and mark down the most important information. So what's important here is which accounts below are debited when they increase? So when they increase in value, which ones are debited? You gotta think about your assets, your dividends, your expenses. Those are the main ones there. So when they increase, that's what we're really looking for here. So let's first, let's locate some assets. Is accounts payable asset? It's actually not. That's gonna be actually a liability. So I'm gonna cross that out. Same with common stock, that's an equity and equity accounts are increased with a credit. We have accounts receivable. That's actually gonna be one of your best answers here. We're gonna go ahead and just check it for a second. You have insurance expense. Now, insurance expense is also going to be a debited. So what I did in this one, I wanted to give you two options. So it's actually C and D. These are your best options. They're debited when you increase. So I'm going to change back here. I'm gonna go ahead and actually circle both, both of these here. That one's a correct answer and that one is a correct answer. Like I said, I wanted to give you two options. So these are actually debited when you increase. Let's move, move down here. So, next question we have is gonna be uh, involving a pet shop. So a pet shop has one employee. They pay them once per week for 500 bucks. Very important number there, once per week. When the employee is paid, which account is debited? So debited, right? So we're gonna be looking here is first, we know it's paid for 500 bucks, simple they're paying them right so they're paying them that means cash so when you see the word paid it's actually going to be cash going down so let's take a look right here let's take a look wages payable is that a uh, asset or liability it's a liability so liabilities are actually uh, increased with the credit and we're paying them out and we're asking what's debited so that's not gonna be your best answer there. Now, right here is going to be cash. Now cash is usually increased with a, with a debit, but they're paying them out. So in this situation, cash is going down. So you actually would credit cash and that would not be your best answer there. Now here, you ask, does it pay them once a week for 500 bucks, which account is debited? We have operating expenses. Now, that would be probably your best answer here. It is a form of an operating expense when you pay an employee. So we're just gonna put a little check mark next to that one. Now, when you pay them out, right, we know that their expenses will go up and their cash goes down. Accounts receivable, that has to do with if you're waiting to receive money. And there is no accounts receivable here. So, your best option is gonna be C. Up. Oh. Ah, sorry about that. C is your best option. Let's move forward here. So go down. So on June 7th, a pet supply, they went ahead and paid, uh, spent 300 bucks on pet supplies. They paid for these supplies. If they paid on accounts, so this is very important. When you see the word they paid on account, that means they paid on credit. They did not pay with cash. So we know right away, asking which account is credited. Well, they didn't pay with cash, so we can actually get rid of cash there. Operating expenses, well, you paid for pet supplies. There's no expense yet. You just got an asset, and then you paid it out in cash. So there's actually no expenses involved. So we can eliminate that. Now, pet supplies, you did get pet supplies, right? Now, when you get pet supplies, that's an asset. So it's debited, it goes up. But here they're asking about which account is credited. And so pet supplies would be debited here, 
not credited. So your best option would be accounts payable because you paid on account. When you see the word on account, you know it's gonna be a liability, some sort of account that you paid out, but with liabilities. So accounts payable is your best option. Let's move down here. So on August 4th, you, a pet shop spent, or they purchased a new truck. So a new truck, and that's an asset, right? That, that means you increase it with a debit for transportation. Now they paid with financing. So again, that's not with cash. They paid with financing, which is like a note or some sort of loan, right? Which account is debited? So meaning that it goes up, right? It increases with a debit for this example. And so you got a truck that is an asset. You received it. That's going to be probably your best option. Now, if it was credited, we would do notes payable. But again, it's asking for a debit. You paid with financing, not cash. So also wrong. Oh, sorry about that. Cash out. Depreciation. That's really only happens over time as you use the truck. You have you uh, incur a depreciation expense, which expenses are also debited. So uh, that's actually not going to be relevant here. What account was debited? Your best option, truck. Right, a truck is an asset. Assets are increased with a debit. Next question here. So. On October 5th, a pet shop paid for $1,000 for yearly insurance. So yearly insurance is what they paid for here. And they paid for it, 1000 bucks. Now they paid. So when you see the word paid, once again, it means cash. Cash is what it's talking about. They paid for it in advance. Which account is debited? And which is credited. So it's asking for both and it goes in order. So from left to right. So that means the answer choices will be debit, credit, debit, credit, etc. So we know we paid for it with cash, right? So that means that cash is going down. And when cash goes down, that's an asset. It's going to be a credit. So let's look for the options where cash is credited. So letter A, it's not. So that's immediately wrong. You don't have to worry about that one. B, it looks like cash is debited, not credited. So we also can eliminate that one. So now we're down to two choices. Operating expenses, cash going down, or prepaid insurance. So once we, what did we get? We got insurance. Insurance up front. Now again, we haven't used that insurance yet. We got it in advance. So when you get it in advance, they call that prepaid insurance. It's actually considered an asset. So you actually, when an asset goes up, remember it's debited. So we would actually go ahead and prepaid insurance would be your best option and it says that cash was credited. So that's correct. So that means this one is wrong and this is your best choice. Prepaid insurance is debited, cash credited. There we are. And lastly here, ah, I believe that is actually the last question. Let me make sure we went through one, two, three, four, and five. Yeah, so that is actually all the five questions we have for today. So I'm gonna be doing ongoing videos like this where we go through test questions, similar test questions. I show you how to answer them and approach them for different types of topics within accounting. This will really help you with kind of analysis of how to answer questions, how I go about answering them, how I eliminate uh, obviously wrong choices. And then that will be way better for you when you take your exams or just for pure accounting practice. These are great problems. So I'll be doing more videos like this in the future. And please comment, like, subscribe. It really helps support the channel as I'm gonna be making a lot more videos coming up. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you in the next video.